Hi guys, I'm here with my girl, Miss Dadson. So this here is our up. first video together and it's kind of perfect because the theme of today's video is fashion first. Do you remember your first trip to Paris? Um, my first trip to Paris? <clears throat> oh yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> I looked Do you remember the, the first time we met? No, I don't. Do you remember? Dancing! No, you don't remember either. Yes, I do. Oh my god. No. It just came to you me right now. You just said to me you didn't. And that's because I didn't until right she now. She set me up for this video, No. Guys. Do you remember we were... It we was at New York Fashion Week. First of all, Dalton was already a icon by the time I came around. I was this tall, young, little thing. I you was 15 were, like, years old. Everybody was talking about you. Oh, wow. The tall, beautiful girl. Oh. From well, St. Louis. I was so nervous meeting oh. Dowson, and I, I remember because you were a goddess in real life, in your pictures, and I met you in person. It was at a New York Fashion Week thing, and Iman was there, and um, and it's I could find the photo online, but it was the first time I met you. Lily was in the photo, I think. find the photo. I just saw you, and I was like, how is this woman? Actually, that beautiful. Oh. First time you fell on a runway. Oh, first time. Oh my. <clears throat> have you fallen on a no, runway? No, I've never fallen on a runway, but I got stuck in a runway. <laughs> what is it? What yeah, do you mean? worse. So it was finale, and I got stuck, and I. So everybody <laughs> was behind me, like, what's like? <laughs> no, what show? Like your what shoe show? Got stuck or your dress got my shoe stuck. got stuck in a runway. So it was like so a. What's it called? What show? What show? I tried to get it out. So I was struggling on the runway to it's get it a out. Train wreck. Yeah, a train wreck. <laughs> I was a train wreck. <laughs> That's amazing. Carly, have you ever fallen down? Huh? I fell on the runway very brief, very like discreetly. What, it was this. <laughs> it discreetly. Was discreet as much as They're a poised. six foot two fall can be. But I, I was in the Fendi show and I was walking off. It was after finale, so everybody's in this line mm. and kind of sneaking off the runway, and I just fell like my foot. There was like a, a space um, that you, like a gutter, and my foot just went in the gutter, and no. I went boom. Like, but did you not space. strain your ankle? No, I was fine, but humiliated. I bought tickets for my friends and myself to go on holidays. Oh, we went backpacking. <laughs> so cheap. <I'm>, that's <laughs> so European. <laughs> yes, I love it. We went backpacking to Thailand. To Thailand? I was so proud of my own money. Oh. Yeah. That's After awesome. that, I, I just rented houses in beautiful places. <laughs> the first thing I bought with my first paycheck was a red KitchenAid mixer. Wow. I'm not She's even so joking. granola. I was 15. All that I did was bake cookies with I my free time. I started the cookies. Yeah. That's, that's what was the first time that you saw your face on a billboard or a <laughs> magazine? Well, the first time I saw my face somewhere was on a magazine, and I brought it to school. <laughs> I was 18, oh, and I put it next to me, and I was like, oh, look at this. Stop. <laughs> yes. Look at this. <laughs> I pretended that I didn't know that I had a photo shoot and everything. Stop. Did other kids react? Were they like, oh my god, that yeah. was it? Yeah, they did, but of course they knew that I knew. First surreal fashion moment for me was when I was in the Dior ads with John, uh, when John Galliano was the designer, and I was driving through Paris, and like the... They were on every oh, wow. bus stop and every. You saw yourself. I everywhere. saw myself, and I was. It was pretty surreal. Oh my god! Yeah. Not Abercrombie bags. Where you oh, Abercrombie bags? I never made it to but, the Abercrombie bags. Yeah, we're bag. talking about surreal moments. That would have been <laughs> surreal. That but would have been like, surreal. I didn't like make it to the Abercrombie them. bag. Okay, my. What was your first shoot? What was your first shoot? No, my surreal moment was for me like being in the moment was shooting with Stephen Mizell. Mm. What was your first Stephen Mizell shoot? My first Steven Meisel photo shoot was for Italian Vogue. Oh, same. Yeah. And a cover? Um, I don't think I made the cover the first time. I think I had to earn that. I had to work my way. <laughs> Did he doubt it? Well, that was my, my first job. time. Like, I got a cover. <laughs> oh my god. Rude. Oh my god. Oh, oh, no, no, it was, god. I was in the hair and makeup and Guido had just cut my hair and I was like this. And Steven shot it and he tilted it and then it was the sideway cover. Oh wow! Italian Vogue. That was my first time oh working my with God. him, and he made That's it seem crazy. so easy. Mm -hmm. you know? And mm -hmm. then all the other fashion shoots were so complicated. Mm -hmm. Oh, when was the first time you got recognized? Hmm. Really, nobody recognized me for a long time. Really? Like, How? <laughs> yeah. Because I was like this so tall gangly and tall. Beautiful. In Missouri, nobody cares, and like not even I, about tallness. <laughs> they, it was weird. Like I was weirdly tall, not like pretty tall, but like just weird. But if and your like, sisters are they tall? Oh, you're they, one sister. They're tall, not as tall as me. 
I'm what? I'm like a actual a giant giant. Yeah. Except I, we met Gwendolyn yes, today. Yes, we met Gwendolyn today. She's so tall. And I have never felt you shorter. Felt short. You I know. This looks normal. I looked. I look normal. Yes. I love it. That's a beautiful picture. That's when. We, when was the first time you were recognized? Uh. I don't remember. I don't no. remember these things. I think the first the first time was at an event mm -hmm. in New York that I walked out and there was paparazzi. Like not even recognized, but the first moment that you have paparazzi mm -hmm. is like it's so weird that weird. all these people just want to take pictures. So weird. And I noticed too that they just took pictures because they you must they like she must be someone. You yeah. Know? You know when this, that happens as well. I was really uncomfortable with the idea that anybody like admired me mm -hmm. for these things that I couldn't oh. control. I'm like yeah. I'm tall and pale and skinny and insecure about all of those things. Yeah. Why do you admire me for that? Like right. I, I and you're felt, so young too at the time. I was so. Like, how do you deal with these things? Yeah. Well, I think what I really, I, what I realized was I was like, okay, I want somebody to say, I admire you for what you stand for, for the actions yeah. that you, the, what you do in your life, not for how you look. Right. And later in life you, you did that and you showed everyone too. So uh, thank you. Yeah. You too. Yeah. When was the first time you were starstruck oh. by someone? I think I was starstruck when I met Nick Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Because my dad is such a huge fan. And I was like, I hope you didn't say that. Huh? That's not the best <laughs> Well, he <laughs> needs Hi. to accept some facts. I mean, come on. Just recently I was so starstruck by, like I couldn't like I couldn't speak. Yeah. Was Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I stood outside her door for like yeah. an hour waiting to meet her. I was such a fangirl. The most important question is when was the first time you met Derek Glasper? <laughs> First time Do you I met Derek Blasberg. Oh my sad. god, I remember this. I remember the first I time remember. I met Carly because she's like my little sister. I remember yes, you wrote you you, in your book, in the book that you gave me that you wrote, you wrote to my favorite St. Louis sister. Oh. And this was before we really knew each other, and I was 15 years old. I'm just 15, and you were so like warm and kind and welcoming to me. And oh. I was like, you're one of us! You're Midwestern! Can you please teach doubts on how to do the ultimate YouTube sign-off? I think, Derek, you are the YouTube pro and you need to show us how it's done. Yeah, how it's Convince done. Convince everyone watching right now why they need to subscribe to my channel and to Doubtson's channel. For the most, the best, the first, mm -hmm. the most glamorous, the most incredible fashion <laughs> and beauty content, subscribe to Carly Claus and Doubtson. Don't forget to like, comment, ring a bell. All right. You're leaving us? That's, <laughs> that's it? That's it. That's it. Oh. All right. Oh, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe in case you didn't listen. Thanks for watching. Bye, Derek. Bye. 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 Bye.